Hello and welcome to our first Dreamweaver website design project. In this series you'll learn how to build a complete website from start to finish using Dreamweaver CS6. You can use your own images and resources for this project or if you prefer you can download all of the project files shown in these tutorials. You can also get the complete series manual in printed or ebook format along with the high definition video tutorials from wizzybooks.com. In this lesson, we're going to have a look at how we create lists in a web page. Looking at our finished page here in a browser, we've got some social media icons and we've also got some navigation. And both of these items are placed in lists within the HTML. So we now need to know how to construct a list within our code. So I'm going to switch to Dreamweaver and we'll open up the main.html document. I've arranged my window here so that I'm looking at it in split view. That way, when we're entering our code, we can see what the finished result looks like. Now we'll start with the navigation system. So I'm going to scroll down to the top nav section. So I've got my opening and closing top nav div, and I'll place my cursor in between those. I'll press tab to come across to indent this, and we now need to put the list structure together. There's two types of list. There's an unordered list or an ordered list. And we're going to be using an unordered list for our navigation items. We'll take a look at the difference between the two as we go along. So I'm going to open a tag for the unordered list, which is UL. And then I'm going to press the return key a few times to give myself a little bit of space. And I've opened the unordered list tag so I need to close it so I have the closing tag and an unordered list contains list items so again I'm going to come in between the opening and closing unordered list tags press tab so that we indent our code making it a lot easier to read and our navigation system consists of four list items so I'm going to open up a list item tag and that's li close the angle bracket and I've opened a tag so I'm going to close it and I need four of these so I'm just going to come down and enter four list item opening and closing tags So there we are, I've got my list items. I can get rid of any blank space that I don't need. Or create space where I do. So this is my unordered list. And this contains four list items. Now you can see over in our preview window that we've got four little dots. And these are for the text that I'm just about to enter. So our links were to the home page so I'll type in home and this needs to be typed in between the opening and closing list item tags. The next one we need is gallery followed by the about and finally the contact us link. So I've got my unordered list with four list items and now if I click in my preview window, you'll see that they come in as just plain text in a bulleted list. Now an unordered list will always have these bullets to the left of the text. We can get rid of that a little bit later on with CSS. We don't need those bullets, so we'll hide those away. But let's just change our unordered list to an ordered list. And to do that, we simply change the U to an O. And because we've changed the opening tag, we also have to change the closing tag. So now this will be an ordered list. And if I come over here, you'll notice that these bullets will be replaced by numbers. So that's an ordered list. We don't need an ordered list, so I'm going to change that back to the unordered format. Again, you'll also notice that the list of items has come in in vertical format. 
and once again when we start to look at CSS we can make changes so that it displays horizontally across the screen. But for now we're just adding this content and we'll worry about the formatting and structure later on. So in our top nav we've created now our navigation in this unordered list. We're going to do the same thing for the social media. So let's come up to the social media div and we'll click between the opening and closing divs for social media. We'll press a tab and again we'll create the structure for an unordered list. So we have an opening UL tag and give ourselves a little bit of space and then our closing UL tag. We'll come up just underneath the opening tag and again we'll press the tab key so that our code looks nice and neat and again we'll create an opening list item tag. We've opened the tag so we need to close it and this time I'm just going to copy this so I'll select on the line number control C on the keyboard to copy and I will place two more we've actually got four social media icons on our finished web page but at this stage we're only going to be inserting three of them so we'll place our cursor in between the opening and closing list item tags and this time we're not going to be using text here we're actually going to be using an image well in our earlier lesson we saw how we inserted images and it's exactly the same process used for these list items. So our first image is going to be that of the Facebook logo. So I'll open up an image tag, I'll press space and we need a source, SRC. The source will appear on the screen. I'll press enter that puts the, the equal sign and the quotation mark in for me and also brings up the browse option. So I'll press enter again and this time we're taken into our images folder and our social media icons are stored within the icons folder. So I'm going to double click that one to open it up and we can see here our four social media logo icons. First one we want is Facebook so I'll click on that one we'll see the image appear and I'll say OK. The path and file name to the Facebook logo icon comes in and I'm just going to scoot this over a little so that we've got a little bit more room here to see our code. Now we need to close that image tag. So it's a space, a forward slash and a closing angle bracket. We'll repeat this process for the next one. The next one's going to be the Twitter logo. So again we'll open up an image tag, space, SRC for source, source is highlighted in the list of code hints, I'll press enter, press enter again when the browse appears and this time we're going to go for the Twitter logo, we'll select that and say OK and again we need to just close that image tag, so space forward slash and closing angle bracket. One more to do and that's going to be the logo for the YouTube icon. So let's pop that one in there. We'll select YouTube, say OK. And now we've got our three social media icons in our unordered list. And if we come across and we click in the design view area, we'll see our logos appear. Again, they're stacked on top of each other at the moment, but that will all be fixed when we start to look at the CSS. OK, let's save our web page. And again, we can press F12 to preview that in a browser. And this is what it currently looks like. So we've got our images, there's our social media icons, our navigation links, and of course our text at the bottom. Now don't worry at this stage that it doesn't look quite as it should. Everything will fall into place 
when we start to use CSS. But for now, this is what your web page should look like, and if you've achieved this, you're right on track. If you found this series of videos helpful and you want to receive updates on video tutorials as they're released, why not subscribe to my channel? And don't forget to like and share it with your friends.